A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 12, verses 54 to 59. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Then he turned to the crowd. When you see clouds coming in from the west, you say, Storms coming, and you're right. And when the wind comes out of the south, you say, This will be a hot one, and you're right. Frauds, you know how to tell a change in the weather, so don't tell me you can't tell a change in the season. The God season we're in right now. You don't have to be a genius to understand these things. Just use your common sense, the kind you'd use if, while being taken to court, you decided to settle up with your accuser on the way, knowing that if the case went to judge, you're probably going to go to jail and pay every last penny of the fine. That's the kind of decision I'm asking you to make. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. I am Father Joe Scooty Matthew and this is Coffee with God. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 54 to 59. Discerning signs of the time is a commandment. In today's gospel, Jesus rebukes the crowd for failing to discern the signs of the times. He urges them to recognize the present moment and reconcile before it is too late. This gospel calls us to spiritual awareness and moral responsibility, particularly in our current context. Pope Francis often speaks about the need for discernment in today's world, challenging us to see beyond superficial distractions and understand the deeper movements of the Holy Spirit. In Laudato Si, he warns the environmental crisis as one of the signs of the times, calling humanity to urgent action in caring for creation. This mirrors Jesus' warning in the Gospel to see and act before irreversible harm is done. Just as people can predict the weather, we must now read the signs of the ecological degradation, social injustice and global suffering, responding with faith and responsibility. Contemporary developments such as rising inequality, conflicts, and climate change present signs that we cannot ignore. Pope Francis urges us to live the gospel authentically, which means recognizing the urgency of our time and working for peace, justice, and reconciliation. In his teachings, he emphasizes the need for dialogue, solidarity, and caring for the poor which aligns with Jesus' call for reconciliation before judgment. In our personal lives, this gospel invites us to examine where we may be avoiding necessary changes or ignoring pressing issues, both spiritually and socially. Are we discerning the signs of our our own times? whether in our communities or relationships or the global challenges we face. As followers of Christ, we must be open to conversion, acting with courage and compassion to build a world that reflects the values of the gospel.